it. Is this a major problem brewing? It, it is. And, and I think, you know, the good news is, is that the states have come in with record reserve levels, generally for the most part, record tax collections. And so financially, most of these states and municipalities have come in in a much stronger uh, kind of financial footing. Um, however, now as they really draw down those reserve levels, um, start realizing a pretty decent loss on the revenue side, um, you know, there's going to be more support that's needed. So through the CARES Act, some of the states have already received some funds. Um, the Fed has set up the municipal uh, liquidity facility, which, you know, based upon the rates, it, 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 it's more of a penalty for high grade issuers, but that is kind of the last resort should any municipalities need to tap into any capital. And Tom, issuance is surging, right? I mean, just as it is with companies who are looking for cash to get through the, the pandemic, so are cities and towns. Yeah, I think that there's actually been less uh, issuance so far this year than hmm. what we were expecting to see. Uh, but let me add on to what we were, what uh, you, you were just referring to with regard to the overall financial backdrop, because I think that's really important. It's not just uh, infrastructure that's being put on, on hold. We're seeing a a significant amount of budget shortfalls at the state level, uh, 600 billion of uh, budget shortfalls uh, at the state level. The local governments are seeing almost 400, 400 billion dollars of revenue shortfalls. And just through April, uh, state and local governments already laid off more uh, individuals than they did in the entire wake of the Great Recession. And wow. we did see 150 billion of direct aid in the CARES Act for state and local governments, but that's nowhere near enough. And the state and local governments need uh, more unrestricted uh, direct relief. Why is it that issuance has been a little light uh, or on the light side of what's expected? And Tom, what's your advice for investors who are saying, you know, I'm looking for yield somewhere, you know, especially at triple tax advantage? What do you tell them? Yeah, so the, one of the reasons that there has been less issuance so far is because there were a good there was a good two maybe three weeks through in March into April when issuance uh, there were only uh, a few deals actually that priced uh, but then finally when we got to the point where we're maybe mid April the market normalized and issuance started up again um, and let me get to the your question about kind of uh, where. It, investors can look with regard to sectors, you know, for me, the most vulnerable sectors right now are the sectors that really are um, relying on more narrow security pledges or economically sensitive security pledges. I think that there are, there are going to be like senior living projects, uh, mm -hmm. retirement facilities, mass, mass transit, those types of things. But one of the things that I warn about investors to do is I don't think that you need to throw every single issuer out in a spe specific sector. For example, airports, uh, the Moody's median days cash on hand for airports was almost 700 days. And so that tells us that even though airports are, are, are really looking at some hard times right now, there are a lot of airports that really pos position themselves very well.